Will the Buccaneers win today? Tampa Bay, Florida. One buck behind us, in front of us, Raymond James Stadium, home of the defending Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And here's our tailgate of the day. Chicken wings, sandwiches, chips, salads in here somewhere. Oh, salads are in there. And lights. All right, our weekly pre-show, one buck behind us. Buccaneers coming into this game 1-0, undefeated, luckily escaping the Cowboys opening day. Yeah. This time, playing with both starting cornerbacks on the shelf. Oh yeah. Sean right. Murphy bunting hurt his wrist in the last game. It's going to be a huge, huge exposure for us. Yeah. On the other hand, Atlanta Falcons, they suck pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, they drafted a tight end with their number one pick. The story today, Julio Jones has left the Falcons. There's no real threat at the deep ball, in my opinion. Mostly tight ends over the middle to be smothered up by perhaps Devin White, Levante David, mm -hmm. Joe. See how it goes. So get out your seat and jump around. No bags allowed. Be like Mike. Who needs Jesus when you got Tom Brady? Yo ho, yo ho, a pilot's life for me. No items that can be missiles. Let's go. Stairway to heaven. Good lord. Here we go, baby. The COVID flag is flying. They're having troubles in the other end zone. The Panthers blew out the Saints and the 
Pats blew out the Jets. Throw me some beads. Do it. Come on, guys. Oh no! It's time to bring in Kyle Trask. Bobby Boucher showed up halftime to the Bourbon Bowl. Well, he's here, boys. Touchdown, baby! Unknown scoring pass. Tom Wagner to Rob Gronkowski. Gronkowski, baby! Oh, no, he wiped out. Look at this, Monty Kiffin Cup. Sweet! We're losing secondary players like rednecks lose teeth here. Looking for the INT or a sack here, baby. No! No! He was clearly holding. It's the two-minute warning. So this is well so congratulations. Enjoy the moment. You deserve it. God bless and thanks for all you do. a fumble and a touchdown by the Bucks. Offsides defense. Ooh. We're not happy with the refs today. Half time. Show, baby. And now, multi keeping My voice, love time, that voice, the energy, everything about it, just, you bought it. You can hold me to a stand with that black and white and I don't know. I think first of all, even at his young age. Let's be humming, let's be humming, let's be humming now. We can't talk about our defense without starting with talking to Monty Kiffin. His personality is just so outgoing and uh, he can just fire the players up. That defense that Monty coordinated was the best unit that had ever played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And uh, Monty was the coordinator of it. He became part of the fabric of the Tampa community. He was so beloved. You know, Monty was a special coach. Uh, he was a special friend. And uh, he richly deserves to be in the uh, Buccaneer Ring of Honor. Monty Kiffin arrived in Tampa in 1996 as the defensive coordinator for Coach Tony Dungy. And immediately began building the foundation for what would become one of the most feared and dominant defenses of the late 1990s, early 2000s, the Tampa Two. Monty would go on to spend 13 seasons as the Buccaneers defensive coordinator. That's the longest tenure of any coach in team history. In 12 of those seasons, the Bucs would rank in the top 10 in fewest points allowed, set numerous team defensive records, and during his time overseeing the defense, eight different Bucks received a total of 36 Pro Bowl selections. Three of those, Derek Brooks, John Lurch, and Warren Sapp, eventually became all of Famers. And it's only fitting that he becomes the first assistant coach to be honored as a member of our Ring of Honor. The 14th member of the Buccaneers Ring of Honor, defensive coordinator, Monte Kiffin! My family, 
and the Gregor family. For the fans of Tampa Bay. Falcon down. They're gonna need tiny tools to fix them up. Watching the Buccaneers this year, it's like watching arena football. We just keep scoring and they keep scoring on us. Falcons score again, dude. Bucks just asleep at the wheel on defense. Falcons go for two and they get it, of course. Mike Evans is down. Third and 28. Oh boy. So instead of beads, we got a fan. An actual fan. Look at that. We had to make our weekly trip to the ship. Captain Fear coming down. Selfie selfies. Touchdown, Chris Godwin. 12 yard scoring pass, Tom Brady to Chris Godwin. All right, let's try to get into the team store. Oh, you get a ping pong table for a thousand dollars. We have these games, but we do not have a bag to bring our cornhole around. I'm afraid of wrecking it. Whoa, look at that jacket. No way! That is badass. Tommy Hilfiger. Wow. Nice. Whoa! They have a bunch of different jewelry and items here. Oh, Hall of Fame shirts with John Lynch. What a mashup. The only white jerseys they have are Tom Brady. Are you kidding me? Fire the cannons! So I asked and they actually have a problem with Nike has a backlog of need for white jerseys that white jerseys won't be back in stock at all until January. Supply chain issues hitting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They have a shirt for the beer. Oh, and Marvel. Maybe I should get a $3,000 Tom Brady autograph football instead. Thank you, crew members. That's us. Well, we are getting out of here with two minutes to go in the game. Bucks up 48-25. Hell of a game. Uh, again, all driven in the fourth quarter with all the activity. Tampa's defense looked really suspect there for a while. Over the middle, like we talked about before the game. They should have that locked down. I think they have the best linebacker core in football. But it didn't show that way today. But we're getting out of here with the sunset in the background. And... One buck over there. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys. What if the Bucks go undefeated this year?